Oh shit. RuPaul's Drag Race. Season 12, episode 4. We finna talk about it, baby. Love that shit. All right, let's get right into this show. All right. Anyway, what's up? What up, though? Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto Reviews. This Today we're reviewing RuPaul Drag Race, episode four of season 12. Already, I'm with my co-host and my wife, Charlene the Foe. Say something to the people, baby. Hi. She says hi. That's all you're going to say. Hi. That's all I'm going to say. Hold on. I got to get right. Oh, now, now you're going to get right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it takes you a second to get shit put together. Hey, I've been ready for this review for the longest time. You know why? Silky ganache. <laughs> I'm gonna order some Silky's merchandise for you. Nah, I like Silky, man. I'm putting Silky. Look, boom! We got Silky in her best right there. <laughs> Wait till you see We're this. Gonna get silky. I gotta say, I, I got a mask. I got a I Silky mean, mask now. Every time it. I say, boom, Silky, Silky. You're dressing up as Silky. I'm dressing up Silky. Now, all right. Anyway. This is um, the review. Hey, man, this, hey. First thing I want to say about this review is, um, you know, they had, what's what's my girl name? Leslie Jones in there. Oh, Leslie. Leslie Jones. I love Leslie. Leslie was me. If I was there, I would be having a fucking fit and a, a fucking field day. Just like Leslie. I'd have so many opinions like she had. Right, right. I, I, I would just been in, in it the whole time, like 100%. You know what I noticed about this episode, though, the most? What's that? What they did with Sherry Pie. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. More they more. tried to erase Sherry Pie out this episode like it was nothing. They just... I, I mean, she deserves it, but damn. I mean, I'm just to my, let, it play, let it play out. Let us just see how it really was. The editing of this video, how they edit her out of there. I'm talking about she didn't even have no confessional. You know how they sit back in the None. room? She gets no. nothing. She gets she, no airtime. She, Sherry Pie, no airtime, man. Sherry Pie, and the thing is, she's pretty great. She's like R. Kelly, like you're not supposed to like her music. Did you know? it for love, yeah. You're not supposed to like Sherry Pie. You're not supposed to like Sherry Pie, but they did their thing. I edited her out. I'm talking about you couldn't yeah. even see the bitch through the mirror when they was talking to other people. Yeah. I was looking. I'm looking like, damn, they really doing Sherry like that? Hey, Sherry did her thing. This wasn't her best week. Sherry, Sherry shines right. even without, but even without giving her any airtime, she still shines as a queen. Except, but, except for that, but she's up. that algae she had on that collard, that collard greens. She was collard green pie. Yes, I, <laughs> collard pie. Ugh. Let's talk about the first thing they did, man. They dressed as bees. <coughs> yeah, they all dressed up. <laughs> oh, Heidi. Yes, it was a mess. Yes, they, they dressed up as fucking bees. I though. love Heidi, though. Um, what were some of the... The things that stood out when they was dressed up as bees, um, to that bees? you, uh huh, that you got into. Oh man, oh, got here, Snooky, Snooky. Britta and uh, who else was it? Britta looked like she was trying to smash a bee. Oh, you talking about when she did that, the the, the death drop? She thought she was about to hurt something. Mm hmm. Britta and one other person. That that didn't go over too well. This was a better episode than last week, might I add. Because yeah, last week when they first all got together and they did their thing, it just was and all that. Ooh, I got a pimple on my head, boy. I can see that shit busting. Pull, pull it down. Pull your wig down. Cover it up. Cover my shit up, man. I got a pimple on my shit. My daughter tried to come in. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, what else are we going to talk about? They had three looks. I mean... Um, when they did the um, three runways. they had three runways today. They had the lady ballers, the basketball wife realness, and balls to the wall eleganza. Eleganza. Ah, eleganza. 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 No, 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 But they had those look. So the first runway when they did the lady ballers, who stood out? The lady ballers who stood out to me. My, my, you know what? My notes are a fucking mess. Because at the end of the show, I got upset and wrote no all over everything. No, no, so now, no. So my notes are horrible. Oh, mine. The first person that came out that stood out to me was Nikki Doll. Oh, 
yeah. When she had the um the baseball shit on. That was pretty dope. Some of the things were a little... It was. Aiden Zane. Yeah. I, League... know, I loved Aiden. Because she had the League of Our Own shit on. And that's yeah, one of my movies. I love League of Our Own. I love, I love, it. I love that movie. That was, she, that that was, was her shining, shining moment on the show. The rest of the, her moments were... I was saying, this is the Lady Ballers yes. part. Um, Rocco Sakura yeah. had the ball on the head. And... Oh, I whipped so my head. Fun. It was so fun. That was pretty cool. Um, what is this? Um... I know you didn't really care that much, but Gigi on point as always. Doing the Lady Ballers? Lady Ballers, yeah, she had the croquet. I ain't like that too much, the croquet she was, shit. She was doing the Heathers. I think Krista Method had that 50s shit. Oh, it was cute. That was, oh, yeah, that was the pretty ball, dope. The bowling ball, cute. And Crystal Method listened. Most important, she listened to the critiques of last week. Mm -hmm. And she toned her makeup down. And Crystal Method looked beautiful. This whole episode, she looked beautiful. What about Widow Von Doom? That was some big velvet. That's what I wrote down. Doing the Lady Ballers, that big piece of gray velvet. I wrote thumbs down. Thumbs down. And that was that look. Let's move over to the um the basketball wife realness. Um Rockham Sakura stood out. She was really pretty. That's two times. That padding? that padding was She looked like Mimi off of Basketball Wives. I just love her. Oh, Mimi from basketball. Oh, Mimi. Uh-huh. Oh, the, I, I know the Asian. Before basketball wives or love and hip hop, whichever fucking lame ass show. Right. Um, but she looked great. She looked really good. I'm going to put my silky face up. Hold on. Get out of here. You're silky's biggest fan. You don't even know it. All right. Um, What else? Jaden Essence Hall. When doing the basketball wise, look. She looked great. It was just a little more expected. You know? Looked the same, doing everything. Yeah, it was just I'm, expected. I, she's perfect. I'm saying perfect she she got that same look every time. Yeah, I'm telling it's you. a little bit boring when it's, when it's what you expect to see. Mm hmm. Who else? Oh, Jan. Face looked real good doing the basketball wife shit. Yeah, it was a little boring too. A little, I'm saying the face. Nothing mm -hmm. wrong with I like it. the pretty queens. I know. It was nothing, nothing wrong with it, but it didn't make me. It made me ooh or ooh or it gave me no emotion. Is Gigi good? Gigi good, good. They good. good. And that was the second look. And the last, yeah. and the last runway was balls to the wall, el eleganza or eleganza. <laughs> um, only two of them stood out to me. One was Nikki Doll, was nice. Um, yeah, was good. She's pretty. She was pretty queen. Yeah, she was pretty queen today. I know you like her. And Rockham's. Sakura, ew! I did not like Rockham Sakura's um. Gigi's was great. And Gigi's was nicely made. She constructed the hell of it, and I loved her touching, um, sentiments toward her mom. Like, see, Gigi's um, like the nice, popular girl. You see what I said when it came down to balls to the wall, eleganza. Mm -hmm. I said, Rockham Sakura. I mean, Rockham Sakura, ew. That's what I said, ew. And that plays a part into what happened towards the end of the show. Because when it came down to it, I didn't hate her look. I didn't like it either. I didn't hate but it. But it came down it. to Britta, Britta, and Rockham Sakura to the end. Not and I think that you see what I said, ill, because that was the last look. So yeah. that stuck in their head a little bit more. And that's why yeah. I don't believe. Um, Britta looked fucking mad. Britta remind me of Sugar Cane. Hey, can I? Oh yeah. Can I? Uh, less that? polished. Yeah, le way less polished. And like boring as fuck. I like Sugar King, though. I like Sugar King. Sugar, Sugar King was a little bit boring, too. Sugar King's like Jan to me. She's always got good looks, but she's just not going to win. And Rock'em Sakura, but that's what was... What was you about to say? Damn it, you know I have ADHD. I oh. forgot. But that's what it came down to. It came down to Britta and Rock'em Sakura. When it came down to... Um, oh, I got one. What did I do? I hated her look. With a, she uh, looked like a pyramid. And then those shoes... She's like one of the Aztec pyramids with yellow shoes. Yes. Oh, them yellow shoes. Yes. Remember, she, they had to sign the shit. What's her name? Leslie, Leslie signed Char her shoes. Um, Widow Von Doom is like real close to becoming my silky. I like, uh, uh, I'm just going to keep my uh, Yeah. But Rock'em Sakura. That's who went home, man. Rock'em Sakura went home. And the crazy part about it, when I was looking at these looks, I had something good to say about Rock'em Sakura in every last one of them. Yeah. She I looked, think, she looked I, real good in the um basketball wife shit. I think Rocco Sakura had a lot more to offer. 
I don't feel like she was going to win the show. Basically, but over Rockham had a lot more to offer. She's really pretty, especially over Britta. Britta boring as fuck. Yeah, Britta bores me. I, I just don't like that bullshit yellow suit she had on the um pineapple. Britta pump. don't have nothing else to offer us unless you're gonna pull it out the hat, girl. I don't see where it's going with you. At least Rockham's occur every single time. Gives me something fun. Gives me something to look forward to. And I enjoy her. I don't enjoy Britta. That's how I feel. I feel like, man, what kind of shit is that? When she, yeah, when she, when Rockham Sakura was the one to leave, leave I was like, oh man. I have nose and uh, the word no and heart, little broken hearts all over my page, all over my notes. My notes are shit now. Right. This but um. She, she was so <coughs> sad. Why can't somebody save her? Yeah, they needed a Tim Gunn save. That's what, that's what I thought. Well. I was so sad. I felt her heartbreak. Do they have is Tim Gunn saving anybody anymore? I like Tim Gunn. I like Tim Gunn too. Didn't you feel? Did your heart reach out for her, Rock on, when she was crying? I mean, not too much she of. Sobbing. I I felt she got played because she in my notes. I ran to her page on Instagram and wrote her a note. I got notes. That's what I was doing when you asked me what I was doing. I was finding Rock on so first I could tell her. And my notes said something good. It, it is a straight man. Who watches RuPaul Drag Race with his wife? I was rooting for Rockham Sakura in this episode only. You know. What does that have to do with you being a straight man? Because I I said something nice about it every time, like doing each runway. So when it came down to so when it came down to her losing, I was like, damn, that's fucked up. She lost. It is fucked up. So we're I think. We're gonna start a poll. Uh -oh. Yeah. A petition. We're gonna send a petition around to the. Community, the RuPaul community, that we should get. Rock I got Sakura another bump on my head, man. I look crazy. Fuck that bump. Rockham Sakura got kicked off unjustly. Unjustly? Yes. That was some bullshit. RuPaul, that was some bullshit. Oh. Call you out, Ru. Don't call RuPaul out. She ain't gonna never call sponsor it. me now. I, I'm calling you out, Ru. Ru, that's some bullshit. Yeah, man. I don't think she should have left. Um. It's boring. It was it was it was good though. Boring. It was overall it was a good episode. To me. The whole episode was dope. But um because that was a fucked up ending. Rock and Sakura going home a little shook over here. was not the um the thing to do, man. No, I'm just sad. That's why I was like, what the fuck? I'm just sad. I can't even I can't even gloat that I'm the Gigi's doing good like I expected. I'm over playing with Silky. That's all. Um, I got, I got my. I got, my, right, Silky, love I, got I got, I got my body of. Um, you shake like Silky. I'm shaking like Silky. Silky, a fat ass. <laughs> Silky, a fat ass. Silky, a fat ass. Silky, a fat ass. That's uh, fucked up, yo. You got anything else before we get up out of here? No, I'm mad. Hey, man. I'm just mad, man. This was a good episode, though, man. Um, man, I'm just fucked up. It just, it's fucked yeah, up. Somebody... so sweet and so sensitive, and I just don't feel all bad about herself. I just. She might not feel I bad. She I shouldn't. mean. She shouldn't. Hey, she, she, might get to come, she might get to come back on another season, though. That'd be nice. You know, she went home early enough she to come back. She beautiful smile. I'll say it, too. She, she went home early enough to come back, though. You know what I mean? To another. Like, I like, sure hope so, because she doesn't deserve it. How long has she been doing it? I don't know. She seems pretty young, so I don't know. I'll have to research that and get back to you. Oh, you don't have no information, huh? Uh, not this time. Ah, uh, not, not this time. All right, Charlene, what do you have to say before we get up out of here? I already told you. That's, uh, oh, damn. Man. That's what's up. Heartbroken. Charlene the fool. Thank you. And like like RuPaul say, if you don't love yourself, you gonna love somebody else. Right. Right. Come on, Silky, let's get up out of here. <laughs> Fuck with your boy, Heist Man the Foe, every motherfucking Friday, right here on the Heist Man the Foe YouTube channel. Check me out, I go live every Friday talking that talk. Fuck with your boy. Peace.